Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with all of my single eyeshadows as you can see and as you can probably also see lots of them are a bit of a mess as right now and um, I do have the top box right there which has like just random singles that couldn't fit into a palette because I recently picked up my Cleona order and got these two magnetic palettes uh, and I'm just thought that I would rearrange my eyeshadows and just make it a bit more organized now when I have more space. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, so I'm just going to kind of jump into it and start organizing. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my Cleona shadows because those are the most precious ones in my collection and I really just want to uh, get those out of the way so that I don't damage them throughout this kind of reorganization. So I'm going to start with those and then we're going to move on to the rest of my singles. So as you can see, here are my Cleona shades. They're a bit of a mess right now, but basically, kind of, this right here is my newest order, and this is right here is my older order, um, apart from the few ones that I mixed just now. But um, what I want to do is I want to get these eyeshadows into these two palettes. I already calculated, and they won't unfortunately fit in one palette. So what I'm going to do, I think, is focus like one of them being more the colorful ones, and then the second one being the iridescent shades. But what I think what I'm going to do, because I want to organize these by um, kind of product line, because I do have different lines, so for example the vibrant multichromes, the glitter multichromes, things like that. So I think I'm going to kind of organize them by category, and I'm going to use this empty palette as the one that I'm going to put them in, like just to make things easier, and I'm going to cover the mirror with this just to kind of... I'm not blind you guys. So I'm going to move this a bit more into the center and I'm going to start organizing. So what I want to do first is get all of my jeweled multicrons I think first over here and then um, kind of organize them and then we want to the next category. So right off the bat I can see that these right here are the jeweled ones. This one here is smolder and yeah let's just go ahead and pick them up. I'm going to be quite gentle with these because they are a bit more fragile. Um, I think this one here is also jewel. I think those ones I think are hybrids and this one yes um, this one here is a jeweled So as you can see there, those are the kind of jeweled multichromes and it's going to be really difficult to kind of organize these because they might look one way in the pan and then a different way on the eyes, but I think I'm going to do my best. So what I want to start with, I think, is... So I think the first one I'm going to put in the corner is this kind of blue to purple one right here, which is Rosette. And then I think I'm going to just try to do it as kind of rainbow as I can, uh, just kind of moving them in order and again it's going to be really difficult with the especially with these ones because they are very very shifty but we're going to do this one and then I think we're going to move on to this one and hmm, perhaps this one this one and again I don't know if this is going to look correct at all on camera because different angles show different lights and different like shifts and stuff but I think that's good and then we're going to move on to I think this so I think that's good I think I'm happy with that kind of arrangement for now and um, I'm not going to go through all the names in this video because then it's going to be way too long but I think that's what I'm going to settle with. Next one I want to move on to are the um, hybrid multichromes which are these four here and this one I believe um, and possibly even this one I'm going to check but yeah those are the ones I'm going to move on to next. So there we have the next shades and I think what I'm going to do now, I'm, I'm thinking if I should continue kind of rainbow and go like a reverse rainbow or if I just want to kind of continue doing it from blue to kind of green. I think what I'm going to do is go from blue to green because then it's going to kind of distinguish where the new formula starts. We have this one, I'm going to go with this one next I think. So there we have the next ones um, which are the hybrid multichromes. Next up... I'm thinking if I should go with the glitter multichromes 
oh I'm, I might actually do the deep areas and monochromes which are these five here but also I kind of want them all on the same row so maybe I shouldn't do them yet um I think I might move on to the vibrant multicolor next, which are these kind of bright ones right here, um, because they are stunning and yeah, I just really like these. So I'm gonna take those out first. This one here is Royalty, Majesty, which I'm currently working on. So these right here are the Vibrant Multichromes um, and again I think I'm just going to go in kind of rainbow order so I'm going to start with blues. Yeah I think I'm happy with that. And usually I start with kind of the purples and I find, think if I should remove this over here but I think it goes quite nice next to Bloodline which is here so I think I'm going to keep it the way it is now. Next up... Um, should we move on to the glitter multicrons next? I think so, um, because like I said, I, I would ideally want to have these ones on the same row because they are the same formula. So I think I'm going to move on to the glitter multicrons next. And this is when it gets, gets a bit more difficult because they are all over the place. It's these ones here as well as the majority of the coloured ones in here apart from this row that are there. So those are the ones I'm going to move on to next. And I'm just thinking if I should kind of move them over because I don't think they will all fit in here to kind of move around that is. So I'm going to scooch all of these kind of down, not very nicely, but scooch them down to have more room in this palette and then kind of think I'm going to move them around that way. And what I think I'm going to start with is doing the bluish purple ones first. I'm just going to start kind of moving those um, and then take it from there. The first one I'm going to go with is this one which is Regal, which is the new shade and I think that looks quite similar to... Um, Royalty, but they are definitely different. So I think those two would be quite nice next to each other And then I'm just going to kind of move on to the purples and then kind of move into the pinks, I think I might actually pop in this blue in between because they are a bit tricky for me to fit in But it's really difficult to place these in like rainbow order. So I'm going to do this one I think next and yeah, the blues, I think. So those are the glitter multichromes. I think I'm happy with that placement. <laughs> like I said, it's really difficult making them in rainbow order, but yeah, I do like that. So what I'm going to do next is just put these uh, ones over here in there, and I think I'm going to keep it in the order they are now. Okay, so there we go. Those are the um, colored shades uh, from Cleonat. We have all my iridescent ones left, as you can see. And I'm really, really happy with that palette. It makes me feel so happy. <sighs> I'm really torn if I should put one more here just to kind of make it full. But I couldn't, I can't really decide right now which shade that would be. So I think I'm going to leave it for now and then start organizing my iridescent shades and take it from there. Okay, so we have our iridescent shades. What I'm going to do is I'm thinking I'm going to take them from series 1 and then series 2 and then the glitter multichromes, or glitter iridescent multichromes, sorry, last. But then I just just remember which ones are which. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm pretty sure this is Candela, which is one of their series 1s. These are really difficult to kind of 
see the colors in the past i think i'm just gonna put them in in the order that i pulled them rather than like a specific order this one here is reflected which is another series one and then i have one more which is flicker which i do believe is this one but let's go ahead and check yes that is flicker so those are the three uh, series one that i have so those are going to stay there then next up we're going to do series two which i have six of um and i think it's definitely uv uh, this one i believe which is halo halo yes we also have ray right here which is another one so that's three This one is phosphorescent, which is another one of the series two. So that can go there. This one I believe is uh, glitter. Yeah, it's gloaming. We have gleam, which is another glitter. And we have glow, which is another glitter. So, so last series two are in here. Glimmer, which is another uh, glitter motochrome. Glisten, <laughs> which is the same. We have the shade Glint, which is also glitter. And this is definitely the glitter, I believe. Gilding, yep. So these two last ones should be the series two, which is Ace, which is Lux. And then we have R, if I remember correctly. Yes, so those are the uh, series two of the Smotochromes. And then we have the glitter ones left, which I'm just gonna kind of shove up here and organize like that. So we now have this palette empty for later, but we also have my two Cleona palettes done. They look like this and I, I'm i so happy that I finally have these organized um, and they look exactly how I wanted them to. So I'm very, very excited for that. And what I'm going to do next is I actually want to figure out what I want to put at the bottom of this palette. I was thinking about making that like a regular C palette, but I think what I'm going to do is put like, I'm torn if I should put like my random um kind of shaped ones like these for example but i think what i'm going to do is put my special shades here so my glam shop shades i believe it's going to go here next and i do have my glam shop shades in here majority apart from this one which is currently in my shop my stash um so i'm gonna go ahead and move those over here and i think they will all fit that should be actually quite a nice palette so since these are almost already organized by kind of color i'm just going to kind of put them over in the order that they are in here so i'm going to start with this shade right here and then move on and i think i might actually continue up here but it's going to make it uneven which is really annoying oh this is difficult i think yeah, I think what I'm going to do is do this and then when I get to the bottom I might push them all down to kind of fill it out that way. So I finished organizing that second palette and I do have quite a lot of room left so I feel like what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of rearrange or like rethink about how I want it um, kind of organized. <laughs> it is, I feel like it's it's difficult when you have shades like in different sizes because I'm just not sure I put more round pants in there or should I try to get like I said my kind of weird sized pants back in there it's difficult but i think i might go with just round pants so but you also probably can see that i did actually put my iridescent shades up here um because i just, I just like the way that kind of went so yes <laughs> i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a break and see how i want to move forward with what to put in that second palette and then i will be right back so i'm back and i have kind of rearranged or like i moved stuff out of the way and put back and while i was doing that and kind of thought what i want to put in this palette i just realized that i forgot some of my singles which are my press glitters from colourpop and what else is the perfect thing to put in these kind of sparkly shifty palettes so that's what i decided to do so i'm going to move all of these into here and 
I have also been thinking about kind of moving one of these shoes here because I think it's annoying that that's not at full. So I think I'm going to move one of my other scent shades. And the one I'm going to move is this one here, which is one of their kind of uh, glitter that's multicolors. And this one has a slightly deeper base, which is why I think it will fit better. And this one is the shade Gloaming, which is a really, really stunning shade. So I'm going to put that right there and fill out that whole palette. So with that, I am going to start moving these over there. And I'm going to start with this iridescent shade and put that next to the other iridescent shades. Um, I don't think all of these will fit because there is one more that I would call iridescent, which is this one right there. Um, and yeah, that will not fit there, but I'm going to start building below it and kind of move from there. And I'm now running to make sure that all of these won't fit, which is again annoying. So now I'm torn again on what to do. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it there and then these three will have to go in a different palette, but I am okay with that. I just have like this special palette here and yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So it's a bit unfortunate that all of them can't fit, but so it, like it's fine um, it's not the end of the world so yeah I'm gonna go ahead now and just move these shades around a bit and then move on to my other single palettes. So there you have it, my done palette um, with all of my kind of special shades and also with my Kiona shades. I'm really really happy with those two so I'm going to move on now to my other C palettes. So I think the two Sims palettes I'm going to use are these two right here as my main ones and I think this one is going to be a spare. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by taking this palette here out and then just put these glitters into... Um, this box right here which I have like loads of singles that like I said couldn't fit or just are not placed yet. So I'm going to put them in here uh, and then we can start organizing. So I think I'm going to do like a neutral warm palette and then a cool palette because that's kind of what I did before and I really like having it that way. So I'm going to start by organizing some stuff and I think this is going to be the warm one still and it's going to be cool tone and since this is almost already organized I am going to start with the cool toned one right here. This shade right here looks really really pale but it's actually like a deeper purple but for some reason when it goes into the air it goes like super pale and I think I used to have to repress this again because it didn't do very well when I repressed it the first time but um, I'm gonna put it in the palette for now but I'm gonna like kind of repress that at some point. So as you can see I have used up all of my regular sized eyeshadows in these two palettes and I'm pretty happy with how they look. Obviously they're not full um, but that's okay by me and um, I feel like it's good to have some space if I want to kind of put in more shades in the future but I'm really really happy with how they look. This is majority like a 
warm tone palette and this is like the cool tone palette but I'm really happy with that and I think I am now gonna move on to the next couple of palettes. So we now have these here and what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this little one for the small Colourpop pans and then this one for like the rest of the shades. So I think that's what I'm gonna do and I'm just gonna kind of start organizing. So I'm gonna pick out all of the small pans and put them in here and kind of just organize them by shade. So I think that's good, um, it, they didn't fit like as nicely as I thought or like as I hoped they would. Um, I would hope there would be a place for one more there but it's fine for now and obviously I can still fit all of them in here but I will probably put some more of my color pops and like smaller palettes in the future and I might rearrange it again then. Um, and maybe even put them in here and put the random ones in this palette. Which I'm now starting to think if I should do instead. Um, I might actually change my mind and put the color pop ones in here and then rearrange and put the kind of random shapes, at least these kind of square ones, in this pan. Okay, so that's better. I like them better in here. So now we just have the last little few and like I said, I'm gonna put the random sh like kind of shaped ones in here because I like how that like feels better um, and then see if I can fit these big ones in here as well uh, and if so, which I can clearly, I think I'm happy. I think I'm done with my organization. This one is now empty and I do have all of my eyeshadows organized and I'm not going to show you like the overview to just show you how the final palettes came out. So there you have it guys, um, those are all my palettes organized, I'm really happy with the, how they all turned out and I think I'm going to get more use out of my single shadow, shadows this way and I'm also so happy that I know I have space for all of them. So yeah, that is it for today, I really really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys!